We made it through the Easter snap, y'all. What am I talking about, Easter snap? All right, so it's like the day after Easter when the temperature drops and it's like super duper cold and you got to get a sweater or a jacket because... You know what I'm saying? It's slick chilly. That's what the Easter snap is. But my plants made it. I was a little concerned, y'all, because, you know, I started early this year, so I felt a sense of urgency. So this is one of my strongest corn plants right here. These plants stand at... The tallest point is, like, maybe 10 inches. But yeah, we had some heavy rain too. So the corn is looking good. I'm gonna move on over to the tomatoes. Tomatoes are looking good. We got blooms coming in on the tomatoes. Only thing about it, these blooms are not gonna pop open until we get some warmer temperatures, y'all. And by the Easter snap coming through, mm -mm, it ain't happening right now. But it's all good. They they still looking good. So yeah. The Easter snap ain't nothing to play with. Especially when you don't have like greenhouses and stuff like that. Covers to cover your plants. I don't have any of that y'all. I'm doing it, you know what I'm saying, completely from scratch. Old school. So I'm really relying on the weather to take my plants through and, you know, the good Lord to see us through. But yeah, it got down to like 40 degrees and like last week it was like 70. So a big drop and um, all is well though, all is well. I think we're going to be all right now once we get through this. Because now it's like 55. And I know the temperature is going to increase soon. So, we made it. We made it. Here go some of my peppers. They doing good. I'm just in one section of the garden, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see y'all on the next one. Happy gardening.